Now, two of the issues that you may get caught up with in terms of technology use is screen time and mobile device use. Um, now, in general, there are guidelines to minimize the amount of time students spend on digital devices, screen time, for want of a better word for it. So there will be parents that are enforcing that in their own homes to try to mi minimize or to, to limit excessive uses of digital devices so that students spend time on other pursuits and activities rather than just playing games or communicating with friends and other uses of digital technologies. Now, different parents will have different um, strategies and processes around that. And in schools too, we need to be mindful that we don't want to have excessive use of technologies um, beyond their pedagogical benefit. So you may have some parents wanting to minimize the use of technology in schools, and you may have to make an argument around the pedagogical benefit, the benefit to students learning from the use of those technologies. Now, where we see this commonly and have seen it for many decades is excessive use of video in schools, where often teachers at the end of the year or the end of a term might put on a video to entertain students that doesn't really have a clear educational benefit. Um, and parents are rightly concerned that uh, they may be watching too much entertainment in terms of TV um, watching. And that, of course, now extends into other uses of screen time in terms of um, tablets and um, computer use, where particularly if they're playing games or other non-clearly educational benefit um, uses. Now, there's a strong argument around the use of educational games, but that's a different issue again. So you just need to be aware that this issue is there and parents are struggling with this themselves, as are students. Of course, some students will get caught up with um, too much use of digital devices and they need to be moderated in terms of other activities in addition to their appropriate use in education. Now, along with this comes the issue of mobile phone use. Now, generally across Australia now, mobile phones are banned for use in primary schools and increasingly um, limited in use in high schools. But there is a caveat there in that they are permitted to be used for educational purposes. Now, this becomes difficult if they are banned because generally students aren't bringing them to school. Um, and if they are, they are um, sort of submitted in at the office in the morning and then they get them at the end of the school day and so forth. Now, this is an evolving issue, though, because parents in the main um, are relatively keen to have their students with a mobile device because it allows them to contact them at any time and in an emergency to be able to communicate with their children. Now, this is problematic and certainly we're not seeing it too strongly in primary schools just yet, but it is starting to become more and more prevalent and is certainly quite prevalent in high schools. Now, balancing that is the recognition from parents and from governments that mobile devices can be distracting. And if they aren't monitored and effectively used in an educational setting, they can be disruptive. So there are legitimate reasons for wanting to restrict their use and teachers in the main have had some difficulties in being able to control and manage that use in schools, which has led to the banning of the devices. Now, as the devices, though, become more and more prevalent in use in society, where they become, to a large extent, part of our identity, where we prove who we are through our device. We use it for purchases. We use it to identify ourselves. Um, during the pandemic, they were used to track where we were going and, and our movements. So there are a whole range of aspects around mobile devices which are becoming fundamental to how we operate in society. And as education and schooling is to prepare our, our students for society, 
increasingly we are going to have to incorporate more use of mobile devices in schools so that we can actually teach students how to actually appropriately utilize these tools in society. Now, at the moment, we're not quite there. We've stepped back from that because of the disruptive nature of the mobile devices, but that will only be a temporary process. Eventually, these devices are going to become so ubiquitous in society that that's going to be more and more difficult to sustain. One example is around AI. We're becoming mobile personal tutors where students utilize their device and talk to it all the time, asking it questions, receiving answers, having it assist them in their learning. Now, that'll be fine outside of school and they'll be able to still do that, but they won't necessarily be able to do that in school, at least not on a student-directed process. Now, we can still use mobile devices though for educational purposes. So if you are teaching students how to appropriately use mobile devices, you can get them to bring in their devices and utilize them in an educational way. Now, of course, depending upon the age level, you need to be aware that not all students may have a mobile device, uh, a mobile phone, for example. Now, that will depend upon the socioeconomic status of your students and the prevalence of that device in society, in their communities and so forth. So that's something you'll need to work out with your situation and what school you're in and what the needs are of your students in terms of their learning needs. But increasingly, particularly in the upper years, in years five and six and seven and eight, more and more students are owning a mobile device and relying upon parents to teach them about appropriate use of those technologies can be difficult in some situations. Now, at the moment, schools are not necessarily teaching them how to use those devices. We may do it a bit in theory, but because they're not using them in schools, um, the impetus and priority on teaching them appropriate use of those devices is not there. But we do know that they can be disruptive and they can be bullying and a whole range of other issues associated with them. And relying upon parents to take on that burden is probably not sustainable. So I very much suspect that we will be um, having to incorporate appropriate education around the use of mobile devices, mobile phones, etc., um, before too long as society struggles with students learning how to use those technologies appropriately. As we see, many parents and adults don't know how to use the devices appropriately um, and manage their uses. So at some point, schools will be called upon to take up that educational process. But at the moment, that's not the case. So just two issues to be aware of around digital technologies and around the things that you'll need to be teaching your students in preparing them to use technology in their lives.